Hi, this is Ryan Phillips for DP Review. We're headed into Judson Studios in Los Angeles. It's a beautiful stained glass manufacturer. They do unbelievable work. This place has such great light and color and textures. It's the perfect place for us to help demonstrate what size sensor might be right for you. Not used to the rain here in LA. So. Cameras have gotten so good that even compact cameras can produce beautiful images. When comparing cameras based on their sensor size, consider the physical size of the camera you'll be carrying around, what you want to do with the final images, and what type of photography you enjoy the most. Advanced enthusiast compact cameras such as the P7800 are a great lightweight backup for a photographer with bulky equipment who needs something for situations where it is uncomfortable or inappropriate to bring a DSLR. So what's really great about this little camera as well is that I have the ability to shoot in raw format. So there's a lot of different types of light coming in through here and if I need the ability to fix it later, I have it because I'm shooting raw. You can still have lots of manual exposure control and shoot in raw without having to carry around lots of gear. Mirrorless cameras like the Nikon 1 V2 are much faster at catching action than a compact camera, have a large sensor, and give the ability to change lens as needs change without the heft of a standard DSLR. They are a substantial step up in image quality and a nice in-between for those unsure about making the leap between a point and shoot and a DSLR. Oh, so it's right there, it's like all in mid-air. That's amazing. APS-C crop sensor DSLRs provide more flexibility in lens choices and controls, plus low light performance and image quality generally improves as the sensor gets larger. This crop factor can be beneficial for sports and wildlife photographers who will gain telephoto without getting a longer lens. But if you like to shoot wide angles, you'll have to get special lenses designed for crop sensors that make up for the crop. Nikon calls these lenses DX lenses. Full-frame DSLRs make the most sense for serious or professional wedding and portrait photographers, landscape photographers, and frequent natural light shooters. Their low light performance and dynamic range will always outperform smaller sensor cameras. They provide the closest approximation to 35mm film cameras, and wide-angle lenses are truly wide-angle. The bigger the sensor is, the greater the potential for subject and background separation through shallow depth of field techniques. As the sensor size increases, so does the size of the photo sites, the buckets that gather light. This translates to less noise at higher ISO settings. Typically, as the sensor size increases, so does the physical size of the camera and the lenses. So I just wrapped up shooting the Judson Studios here in Los Angeles. We tried out a lot of great cameras. There was just unbelievable light, color, and texture in this, in this really cool old building. Now, I know sometimes it feels like it's impossible to find the perfect camera, but you can find the one that best suits your needs. My suggestion is to start by prioritizing the most important features such as camera size, amount of control or low light performance, and one of the choices should stand out from the crowd.